Hey everybody, Cameron from Barefoot in Montana. Welcome back. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit it now so you can continue to follow along. I upload videos probably about once a week. In this video, you guys get to meet my sister Jasmine and see if we got a wolf on our wolf hunt. You ready to rock? gonna happen for us hey everybody so we're just heading out got my sister this is jasmine we're gonna uh, go see if we can fill our wolf tags you guys come along Remember to drop down in tone. Can I have a practice run first? I don't. Well, I, we don't have to put it on the film. <laughs> Make one more of your bitch sounds. <laughs> one more bitch sound. One more bitch sound. And then we're gonna move. We're hearing nothing in here. <laughs> Come again. Shit, kind of fluff ball. That's what you look like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need to get. Yeah. I guess some seaweed. Uh, seaweed? No, seaweed. So it's like a little, it's like a plastic penis. And it like cuts through your vagina. And then you like stick it out your pants and then go. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have a to. A seaweed? Yeah, so we don't have to fucking undress every time to go pee. <laughs> just fucking. And just pee like men. With a plastic penis. <laughs> Fucking douchebags. Excuse our mouth. So we just cleaned up a trail mix granola bar wrapper. wrapper just two seconds ago. And now we come across this Rice Krispie treat. Somebody literally was just yeeting their garbage all over the woods. People like this piss me off. That's why we have gated roads. Pick up your garbage, assholes. So we got a lot of deer trail through here. But I am not seeing any fresh wolf tracks. All right. We're going to let out a couple more howls. There's that ridge line. We came down a little bit. That's where I think they're at. But nobody's making any noise. And I'm not just hiking over there on a whim. So. Should we do a double call? Or just a single? Sure. Yeah. Hold this. Titties. Titties. Titties, you go.
There's a bobcat in the middle of the road up there, guys. Bobcat in the middle of the road. Sitting down, looking at us. It's coming towards us. It's coming towards us. Yeah, he's sitting right there. Dude, I could shoot him out the fucking no, window. No, do not shoot him. I know, I know, I know. Do you guys see him? Can you see him on there? Oh, there he is. Back the way. Together all the time. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, he's just a little guy. Cute. So we did not see or hear anything for the remainder of the day. We got out in a few more spots and did some howling, but nothing was talking to us. I think it being rifle season, they're just really skittish right now. So we just kind of drove around, popped over to Libby and had lunch at a real nice restaurant and it was a great day. Ooh, what a cold, frosty morning. Boy, that water looks warm. So I made it up to grandma's and I decided that on my way home, I was going to go ahead and do a little road hunting. I came across five does about 10 minutes before last shot. And I got to thinking there has to be a buck in there. And um, right about the time that I didn't think I was going to see a buck, I heard a stick snap and out he stepped into the clearing, turned and looked at me and I dropped him. Well, I just shot this guy probably a hundred yards off of the road and uh, had to do some massive jerry-rigging to figure out how to get him up onto the road so I could load him up into my truck. Nice white tail, but this is where I had to hook my two come-alongs together and pull him up this mountain. So now I gotta tag him out and I'm late to pick up my daughter and everybody's looking for me. So I gotta get moving. November. Battery was low on my camera, so my flashlight wouldn't work, but it would record. I was doing all this pretty much in the dark. These balls are so swollen, I can't even get around them. I had to stop myself. I was breathing so hard. It felt like my lungs were going to explode. It's too cold to be breathing like that. We'll all be doing great. Okay. So, Dick, Dick and balls halfway up. So trying to do this with low light was very hard. I don't know why my camera would record, but it wouldn't use the flashlight for me. I'm happy I got those big Casey lights on the back of my truck. Those were helpful a little bit. I keep letting the volume turn up and you guys get to hear my diesel engine, but I thought those were little entertaining segments on how I was talking to myself in the middle of trying to gut him out. I wish I would have had some help. It was really hard for me with low light and not being a very strong person. I also realized that I need to watch some YouTube videos on how to properly gut one of these out. I had a real hard time with getting the pelvis busted open and trying to figure out how to get the urethra out. This is so much easier with somebody to help you, by the way. Just in case anybody is wondering. 
If you guys have some easier ways that you know of on how to gut a deer all by yourself when you don't have any help, please put in comments down below. I would really love to hear from you guys. Yeah, I just really had a hard time. I popped the stomach a little tiny bit, as you can see. Yeah, I was really struggling. And I couldn't get the tail out. I couldn't get the urethra out. Finally got it done. Good enough anyways. He had lots of blood in him, so it kind of rinsed out where I popped his stomach a little bit. It wasn't too bad. Now I just gotta lift him up into the back of my truck. Luckily I have come-alongs. Nice little 4x4. Four four. Yeah, a little too cold to be doing this in the garage. Yeah. So we brought him inside. Tammy's at it. So it's the morning after I got my deer. I didn't get to bed till about midnight. But I got everything quartered up and hanging and got the back straps hanging and going to have some amazing breakfast this morning. One of my very favorite things is cowboy breakfast, but not just cowboy breakfast, venison heart. Mm, I love it so much. It was so good. The kids enjoyed it. We inhaled it. Kind of made up for the fact that my legs feel like jello, but not really. I, uh, I'm really proud of myself. That felt really good. I worked really hard last night for that. And I'm really thankful for my best friend, Tammy, for coming and helping me. I'm thankful for my family. And um, next week is Thanksgiving. You guys can join along for that. I'm thinking I'm going to do a video on rendering down my pork fat and uh, making some biscuits and gravy. As you've seen in last week's video, I have a ton of pork in my freezer so i gotta get that used up but thanks guys for watching my videos and if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button please hit it now so that um, you can continue to follow along with me i post videos about once a week i try to sometimes life gets in the way but i really do appreciate you guys until next time thanks again